Yogyakarta on the island of Java in Indonesia. This place is food paradise and we're going to be making a ton of videos here. Let's get food hunting for this one. Yogyakarta, the cultural heart of Java, is a street food paradise. This is the sixth video in our nine part video series from Indonesia. In this video we're exploring a local market to bring you some local favourites. Think beef fat satay, fried intestines and loads more. You don't want to miss this video. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Jogjakarta or Jogja as it's known by the locals has a really rich food culture and one of the best places to eat local food is at markets and so this video is just going to be set at Pasa Beringhajo which is a main market in Jogja and it's right in the heart of Malioboro Street which is a really famous street here so the place that we're going to eat at first is right behind me so let's go and get some food salad served with a peanut sauce drizzled all over the top so we got ours with rice and it just looks so delicious so we've got a whole bunch of cooked vegetables so over the top we've got some sprouts there's some uh, grated carrot the really dark leaf down here is uh, papaya leaves there's some uh, wing bean on the top there and then some beans as well. There's just all sorts. And then it's just doused in this uh, thick peanut sauce and then served over white rice. And it's gonna get a really uh, big mouthful with all of those vegetables. And let's just see what it tastes like. All right. Mm. Whoa. That peanut sauce has got so much flavor. It's very nutty, obviously, and then it's got a really strong hit of chili, so it's quite spicy. And what I love, love, love about the vegetables is that they are very crunchy still. So you can see by the colour of them, they're still very vibrant. They haven't been cooked right down, so they're all sort of um, a gluggy and soft. They still have a lot of crunch. This is really good. All right, I'm gonna go for another spoonful. I think there's some spinach in, oh, some spinach in that mouthful, and then a whole lot of beans. Mmm, mmm, so so delicious. That peanut sauce is so fragrant, and just those vegetables are really really crisp and crunchy, but still just soft enough. Like they're not raw, definitely cooked. And it's a really cool setup because all of these um, stalls are set up right on the street, right outside the market in fact. And there's just a ton of stuff. So not just the nasi pecha, there are all sorts of skewers and um, deep fried snacks. And everyone's just sitting on stools and just um, tucking into their food. It's really awesome. <laughs> We're now heading right inside the market. It's packed with people and selling a lot of incredible clothing, but there's more food up the back of the market, up the top we're here. So we're heading in that direction, buy more snacks. This pasada or market is such a rabbit warren. We've been walking around for about 45 minutes trying to find our next stop, and we finally found it. It's a place behind me, and it's uh, selling fried intestines and fried beef. So let's go and get some. Our food has just come and it looks unreal. So we've ordered two different things here. We've got some 
fried beef and look at it, it's just falling apart. And the thing that I'm really, really excited about is this, the intestine, so fried intestine, so iso gorang, so that looks incredible, it looks super juicy. And that comes with some nasi or some white rice, some basil and a slice of cucumber. There are some sauces on the table, but I'm just gonna dive in first and just try these as is. So I wanna try the intestines, I think. Let's just get a couple of pieces of intestine some of that rice actually let's get some of this basil and just break those leaves in there so i can get some some freshness with the mouthful as well so we'll get a basil leaf some intestines some rice oh yeah mm. whoa mm. oh my god that basil is insane that is so flavorsome oh but now here comes the intestine flavor. Oh my god. Oh, that is so good. So because it's been fried, I think it might have been braised, both of these meats, and then fried. So she just popped them into the oil just as we ordered them. So we cut them up and then chuck them in the oil. So they're, they're nice and warm. The outside of the intestine is quite chewy, actually. And then the inside is quite a creaminess, but a thick creaminess. And it has an incredible flavor, quite salty but also in a really nice way, just that perfect amount of saltiness. Saltiness that really brings out the flavor of the meat. Oh my God, but they are delicious. Let's break some beef up. Get the beef off, that just fell apart. Now, this, the portions are quite small, which I love. It's often the way here in, in Indonesia, you don't get these huge portions. So, I don't want to go for too big a mouthful, because I'll eat the whole thing in one go. Mm. Oh, mmm, mmm, a lot of texture again. Actually quite chewy, mmm, mm. quite salty again. But the the saltiness brings out the flavor of the meat. You can really taste the meat, so I'm pretty sure it has been braised, but it's not been braised in something like strong in flavor, because it tastes like meat. It's like beautiful beef flavor. Quite lean actually, there are a few fatty bits there, but the pieces I had were quite lean, a little bit chewy, and just really nice. That saltiness is really good. I'm gonna add some of these um, sauces though. This one is definitely chili. Whoa, oh, that is gonna be insanely spicy, I reckon. And this one is super thick, and I'm not actually quite sure what this is. So let's sprinkle some of this over. It's definitely gonna have a whole lot of sugar in it because look at it, it's super sticky. It's almost like, um, Almost like molasses, the texture of that. So just dump a whole lot of that on the beef. And let's get some of this chili as well. This chili looks crazy, crazy good. Look at the big chunks of chili in there. Quite a lot of oil. Just put a big dollop of that on. All right, I wanna rip off more of this basil because that really added an incredible um, flavor to the dish. It really gave it another element, that freshness and that different um, taste profile. Let's go with this sticky sauce and some more beef. Mmm. Whoa. Good. Tricky. Mmm. Oh, that sauce is incredible. It sort of tastes like really, really, really good barbecue sauce, but thicker. So it's quite sweet. Got a great spice to it. Oh, and the spice is building. That's got a lot of flavors in it. I think that's some sort of concoction they've made here. That is really, really good. Okay, time to try this chili now. It's, it, this looks super spicy. This is going to be good. I'm going to get a whole lot actually. I'll get pretty much that whole spoon that I had before. Some um, intestine. Oh, oh that is good. Oh. Yeah, that's really spicy. And I think the chilies have been cooked down a lot. So they've actually got a bit of sweetness coming through as well. But the spice is really there. As I'm chewing through those chilies from the sauce, that's building a lot. This is good. This is really good. This is a super local spot. Like Shana said at the start, took a lot of time to find this. Definitely worth it. It is super tasty. It's really hot today in Jogja, so we're going to get something cold to cool us down. We 
we've sat down for a bowl of estoet and this is one of my favorite things to eat in Indonesia when it's hot to cool me down and it is made up of a bunch of delicious different ingredients so everything is wallowing in this uh, coconut milk concoction that's also got a bit of uh, palm sugar inside and then it's got tons of different jellies so that green wobbly one is uh, sinchow so it's a grass jelly and it's really soft and wobbly and then we've got a mix of different uh, rice flour jellies and also some tapioca flour jellies let's just give this thing a taste mm. oh. It just slips right down your throat. It's really sweet and refreshing. And Imbahari's store is really famous here in the Pasar, so you have to come here. It's so good. And we're just sitting in front of her little stand on these tiny plastic stools. And she's got that big, big pot filled to the brim of all those different jellies. And then these sort of earthen pots filled with her coconut milk and then the palm sugar. This is such a treat. That estoet was so good. The coconut milk le leaves such a beautiful flavor in your mouth. And Imba Hari, the lady who runs the store, was so, so lovely. And now we're just walking through the market. There's a ton of things to buy here. There's lots of batik, which is the traditional uh, fabric. And then produce, fresh produce and dried goods, all sorts of things. But we're here to eat, so let's go and find our next snack. Often when you see smoke pouring through the air, it means satay, and that is what we've stopped for next. So, you can see the little stall right beside me. This is right on the road, so we're literally on the side of the road, tiny little plastic stools, or in my case, I'm just crouched here on the footpath, and the satay smells incredible, but the satay we've got is something pretty unusual, and looks incredibly good. This is satay kiri, so this is beef fat, and nothing but the fat look at it these glistening pieces so it's been marinated and then cooked on the charcoal so satay is just skewers of meat cooked over the charcoal but it can be any sort of meat and in this case it's just this beef fat so let's just grab some off oh my god oh wow oh like jelly. Beautiful, hot, fatty jelly. It's not as oily as I was expecting. Mm. Oh, and it's just also soft and then has that little bit of harder fat just running running through the middle of it. That is amazing. Really juicy and it's been marinated in quite a sweet sauce so it's, it's got quite a sweet taste to it and the fattiness isn't uh, too overwhelming. It's not sort of coating my mouth. Looking at the, the skewers here, I was expecting it to be just, whoa, drop them almost. I was expecting it to be sort of quite chlorine and too, too rich, but it's just not at all. Let's go for another one. I want to peel off some more of this, this fat. Oh, it's just glistening and it's almost, almost transparent, the fat. Mm. Oh, sweet, a little bit rich really smoky from sitting on those charcoals right there it's almost in contact with the charcoal so it gets some really little crunchy bits on the end and some caramelized bits there's actually some little burnt bits which are just nice and crunchy and some caramelized bits and then that soft soft fat and this is just great sitting on the footpath like this or on the road traffic's buzzing by grab your satay it's the perfect snack Smells incredible, tastes amazing, it looks good. That beef fat satay was 
delicious. It's not something you want to be eating every day, but it was pretty decadent and it was tasty. Yep. Super decadent. <laughs> I, I love that dish. Such a great day or great morning of eating here at Pasa Bering Hajo. Jogja's food scene is awesome and there is so much to explore and we're having a ball hunting down the local favourites. Remember to hit that subscribe button because we've got heaps more videos coming from Indonesia and then after Indonesia we head to South Korea so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. Give this video a huge thumbs up, pop a comment down below because we love to hear from you and if you want to support more Chasing a Plate content check out our Patreon page. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Jumbalagi! Jumbalagi.